Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. I am back as promised uh, for my part two. Sorry, just getting my video up on my computer just in case the phone doesn't work. Um, so I'm back with part two of my frosted floral video. Now this is all the paper that I have left of my frosted floral paper. Um, and this paper is going to my granddaughter. She's eight. And I said in the last video that I promised her some of the paper. So I have cut up everything except for this piece. Um, what does this piece? Oh, I could have used this piece. This piece is this on the back. Nice and shimmery. Um, please say hi. Good morning, Deborah. Thank you so much for joining. <clears throat> I now have avalanches happening because I had to create some space. <coughs> Sorry, chewed down on some food before I went live. Now I'm choking. Um, so yes, back with the masculine cards. I do have a few more feminine cards because there was a really nice pattern that I wanted to use. So, yes, back with that. Good morning, Nicole. Thank you so much for joining. It is morning here in Australia. It's five past 11. So I'm assuming it's sometime in the early to mid evening there in the US. Um, so, yeah, yesterday. I shouldn't say yesterday. How long ago was it? Two days ago. Let me grab the card so I can show you. So, good morning, Janice. Long time no see. Um, I made these feminine cards using the frosted floral designer series paper that is in the soon to be finishing holiday catalog. So if you haven't already done it, check out the year end closeout deals which are on my online store um, lots of discounts and deals to be had um, so yes and please excuse my wet hair or oh, it's actually now crunchy hair wash hair day and can't touch it until it's dry otherwise I'm a fuzzball um, so yes we've got the year end closeout deals those deals are good until the 2nd of January and as of 1150 on the 2nd of January all the products in the holiday catalog are I shouldn't say all there is a carryover list but um majority of the products in the holiday catalog will no longer be available I was very lucky and only lost three stamp sets I think it's because I didn't buy a lot from the holiday catalog because I bought what I loved so I could uh work with it so yes so we made these two cards and you girls asked for some and guys asked for some masculine cards so i am back today i have prepped my box and on this side i have things prepped so i have a prepped box um that i actually started straight after talking to you guys i got my pattern paper started loving it and chopping it um has Kylie Batucci um started that great um that great movement of loving and chopping our pattern paper and that's what I want to do hey Kath so thanks so much for joining I'm about to do some card making um so yes I just want to get ah very good are you a curly girl Deb I'll ask because I'm a I follow the curly girl method so my hair is crunchy and half wet so I won't touch it for a number of hours but that's okay it still looks okay it just looks wet but that's I'm real life you guys know you get the real life me so I have set up my setup a bit differently today so hopefully I haven't got as many shadows I've basically moved my tripod so instead of being in front of me it's from the side and um, ah awesome yes in Australia I'm part of an Australian uh, Facebook group been the best thing I've nearly been curly girl for a year 
Um, I, Deb, I'll tell you, don't know if anyone else is interested, but you'll have to put up with my ramble because this is me and part of my life. So about a year ago, we lost power. In It was in like mid-January this year. Uh, we lost power and I washed my hair every day because I had to tame it. And um, I found out it was a lot curlier than uh, what I thought and my amazing demonstrator friend Rosalie said Ellen you should check out this Facebook group and that was the end of that I've been curly ever since so yes okay so that's my short story about why you have seen my hair transformation over the past year if any of you have taken notice so I am using the and I will show you this before we go uh, before I flip around the Rooted in Nature set. Now, these masculine cards can go both ways. And the other stamp set I have used for the word celebrate is Tabs for Everything. A very, very useful set that I find great for small sentiments. Um, so, yeah. So, I will flip us around. Bear with me. I apologise if I make anyone sick, but I am set up and you guys are perched on my laptop. So I just need to put you in, flick the screen and fingers crossed it works. So bear with me while I cover this. Just talk amongst yourselves there. Oh my word. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Sorry, guys, you're going to see my roof for just a second. Oh, good. I'm glad you've got both those spots. And there we go. Yay. I think I... Oh, yes. I think I have found how this is going to work best. Fantastic. Oh, please excuse me. My son has a question. You know that uh, I tell that uh, that um divide has the divide. Yes, could I please have that back? Cause that's my craft one. Sorry, my no, son's I'm going. actually like playing the Lego and so I can put them in the drawers later. That is a great so idea. Sorry, yep, this. pop it on the desk over there. My son is doing a New Year cleanup of his room, and we bought him um some. Just some containers from the reject shop dollar store. So, yes, they do know I'm live, but they obviously still need their mum. So, I have, now I have here some card bases that I haven't prepped previously. But I have all the card bases and uh, pattern paper attached to majority of the cards. And I have already pre-flagged my scraps so i am using a lot of scraps you can see how many cards we're going to assemble and i have found a fantastic hack with the snail adhesive that i will show you in a sec so i'm just going to pop these to the side so has anyone been oh god i just knocked over my basket i might just put my basket here in front of me so it's easy for me to grab okay right i've created a shadow of course because my light source is under my cupboards here so the pattern paper oh god okay let's get these to the side up here because everything always goes up to my Stampin' Up! logo. So then I know if I'm missing anything little, it's just in that area. Oh no. Oh, I meant to pull out a different pattern. But anyway, so these are the patterns. I am not a fan of the brown at all. Not a fan of this, but... I love this Tranquil Tide uh, paper and I love the eucalypt leaves. So I'm loving that Stampin' Up! in their pattern paper are looking at where we all live. And oh no, 
Mmm, that's interesting. So, two, two, one. That works out perfectly. Hey, Mel, thank you so much for joining. Hey, Mel, could you do me a favour? Could you share this live video onto our team page? So then people can, our team can come over and watch. The sharing thing is up the top. And you just type in our team name. Thank you. Okay, so I have just finished. My tip with the snail is I have just finished my fast fuse stash. Very, very sad. But what I've been doing, I've been so used to using the adhesive and ticking it left and right. And you girls may remember that we here last video, I had a lot of trouble. Here we go again. Um, just losing that first bit of snail to attach to the page because this paper is so smooth. So rather than lifting up from here and getting a glue glob, Okay, no props. Mel, if you can't figure it out, tell me and someone will walk you through it. Good morning, Adele. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm breaking the adhesive to the left or right. So then your adhesive is right there rather than going globby and um, it's there ready to start. So you can see out of those six little tabs I put down, I only struggled with one which is fantastic in my books. Now, this one goes on the white card base. Okay. And the good thing about this, uh, I did just stuff it a touch, but you know. Handmade, not hallmark, right, Deb? Okay. That is one. And these brown stripes, so attractive. Great in small doses, but um, not great for a card front. Yeah. And if you do have trouble with your snail, you can just roll it on with your finger until you feel it sticky. And then you're not... Um, in the way please excuse my doorbell my husband is cleaning my car uh, he's currently vacuuming it so he will um, set off my motion sensor which sounds like my doorbell so one more I think we've got about 30 cards girls So lots of people will be receiving these cards. But in my book, they are done cards. And if anyone asks me, hey, do you have a masculine card? I will go, hey, yeah, I do. I've got heaps. Here you go. So this, these ones, uh, the eucalypt leaves, are going on to a Tranquil Tide card base because I bought a whole extra pack of Tranquil Tide. Going, yes, I'm going to use that with the Joyous Noel paper. Didn't use it with the Joyous Noel paper. So I went, oh my God, this colour is retiring in June and I need to use it. So I have managed to use it on majority of these eucalypt um, pieces. Now, just bringing in these bits. So these are just the scraps when I chopped it. So what I have taken is our triple banner punch. Now, if you haven't used this before, it just creates the flag end. So you just create the flag end and you've got three predetermined um, lengths. So I think you've got two, one and a half and one inch. Let me grab my ruler and double check that for you girls. Oh, thank you, Mel. You're amazing. Yes, one inch, one and a half and two. But quite often my pieces like this are slightly Thinner. So what I do is I pop my piece of paper in, I flick it over, 
Now, as you girls know, I have issues with my hands, so I sort of just lean it on the table and line it up in the middle and of course I was chewing through these yesterday so well okay take one end and this is why I have pre-done all of this because this kind of stuff is oh sorry I covered it with my hand but you can see I have got two beautiful flag dents so Triple banner punch, awesome, love it. The other punch that is great for making flagged ends, if I can grab it, is it gives um, a bit of a, not as much of an angle, is the tailored tag punch. So you just pop your, I'll show you, grab any old piece, Ellen. You just grab, pop your piece in and you get a wider angle to your flag dent. And of course, we've also got for our very skinny pieces, um, we can use the classic label punch as well. So, right, now that I've reached and knocked and done all of that, can I have that in writing? What do you need in writing? Oh, that you're awesome. Yes, Mel. I will write that on a card and give it to you. Mel is one of my oldest friends. Yes. Yes, Adele, it's great. So Mel may be very cheeky with us here. So I'm just going to pop two little bits. Now, these are what I have made with the, I, while I'm sticking, I'll sh talk to you about this. So, I have used the wood, the wood slice stamp. I've used the You Are Wonderful. And then from the tabs for everything, I have used the Celebrate. So, I've used grey granite. And then I've used Tranquil Tide and Night of Navy. And then I have just taken our two and a quarter circle punch and just punched it out. So I did like three or four sheets, A4 sheets of these. So I'm just going to pop this on and I don't need to worry about this pattern paper coordinating because it's all in a set. So unless I'm using huge girly colors it's all going to match nicely <laughs> yeah you might get it next team meeting mel you never know that's if you come and you don't have a better offer and pop that there and that is basically our card love it simple i think i know a lot of females in the world that will be very happy to receive that card and I'm going to get one of the other patterns this is the other pattern that I've used that is a bit like reminds me of a eucalypt as well um Auss Aussie girls help me out please um this is oh, you get them in bunches of flowers but I don't, I'm assuming they're a eucalypt, but I'm not totally 100% sure. <laughs> I'm very happy, Adele, sorry I went quiet, I was reading Adele's comment. I'm very happy to enable and help. And this is going to be the most boring bit. Watching me take off dimensionals. But you've already seen most of the other boring gluings. So. so these are just nice and simple. I may make some in the middle. We will see how we fly along with this. Um, so I'm just choosing patterns here of what I think will go nicely 
So some of these are different widths. It's just I've literally, yes, gum leaves. Yeah, but they're, morning Karen, thanks for joining. Yeah, they are gum leaves, but I know they're a type of eucalypt. If only I have my florist friend here with us, she'd be able to tell me straight away. But while being, I might pop this one in the middle. But whilst being a crafter, oh, I don't even think she likes my business page. How rude. Yes, I have been watching Fuller House on Netflix to preface our um, that comment and the conversation. Yeah, 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 these ones, these ones. You like get them in um, flower bunches and they smell amazing. But that's okay. I like that all these patterns remind me of things. This one especially is just straight eucalypt leaves. But these are some variety of eucalypt that's a bit more um, like it's got leaves all the way down the um, branch. Oh, I like that in the middle too. Right. Now, this, some of these have pretty florals on the background, but I'm making them, um, I'm just making them nice and neutral so I can give them to males or females. And as you can see, these colours, this is uh, Pear Pizzazz, and these colours do match perfectly. Now, while I was going yesterday, I did find another sheet that I missed and it's of the beautiful mint macaron in this um, pattern. So it's mint macaron. So I do have an idea. I think I've got about four or six cards and I have already prepped, but I haven't stamped the... Um, I haven't stamped the sentiment piece, but it will be really, really simple. Now, it does help. Sorry, Mel, I'm hurting your eyes because none of these are centred. So I do humbly apologise, Mel. Okay, now the ones I do have to use because I don't want these to end up on the same pattern are these so I think I might use these ones first because I don't want them to end up on the other pattern yeah so literally I sat here I think I was talking to Denise we were having a um, brief catch up and I was literally as she was cleaning up her disaster of a craft room um, we were chatting and we were stamping. So I was stamping, she was cleaning and um, literally prepping this. And I do the same thing while watching Netflix or a TV show or something like that. I go, I make a card and then I go, oh, that'd be great to make a couple and pop in my stash or especially thank you cards for my customers. Uh, for me. Um, put it on the dining room table for the moment and then we'll sort it out. Have you got one or two, Owen? Not sure. Sorry. Random questions. Yes, Adele. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay. This one, Adele and Jennifer, this is the one we're talking about. Sorry. So I only need tiny bits of adhesive here. So have people managed to do some crafty things since Christmas or are the Americans back at work? Because I know in Australia a lot of businesses do close down. Uh, between Christmas and New Year. I know my optometrists um, have taken time off and we're all back on the 2nd of January. That's okay. Look, I'll even leave it at the top now. 
Oh, look, there's another one going in. I do not like this direction, but it was just how the piece of paper went. I did um, I did do a consensus of the house and go, because my 14-year-old uh, son is, he's very arty. I think most of you have um, seen some of his art pieces. Oh, look, I made a little face. Have seen... Hello Philomena, thank you so much for joining me. We're just doing some mass producing of cards here. Um, so, oh, please excuse my children. What's on the other side? What's on the other side of what, Mel? Because I can't show you because they're all stuck down. So... What's on the other side of? Oh, thank you, Philomena. More description, please. If you want to see what's on the other side of my craft desk, it's just a whole lot of piles. That no one needs to see. Oh, I, mm, hold on, Mel. Uh, yeah, I've got a scrap piece. So I was showing the girls earlier, this is all the scraps that I have left. So on this piece, on the other side, is one of my favourite patterns, actually. But um, we will be using this pattern in the uh, mint macaron card that I make at the very end. So it's a lovely um, Blackberry Bliss. Let's see if I can cannot show you another bigger piece. Found one. Oh, hang on. It's in my pack. So it's this pattern that's on the back. So good tip for um, storing little bits of paper. I just put them in one of our medium envelopes so I can corral them in one place. And then uh, before I cut into a big piece, I see if I have a smaller piece that will work. Um, and it saves my big pieces for this kind of, um, this kind. Yeah, Mel, I just, I just wanted to make these cards. So I just sort of went with it really. So, what is the weather in the US for my peeps? So, I know today is going to be very hot, pretty much 100 Fahrenheit plus in Australia or in my local area. So, I'm pretty much hankering down, sitting here crafting and what I, you know, I would thought I was being so good and had delivered all my customer catalogs and I've I've sent them all. The people that don't live locally to me hopefully have received them and I've sent them in the mail and done all of that jazz. And then in my looking for things in my craft room, I um I found a whole nother pile of local People, customers, friends, well, they're customers because they've all bought off me or been to my classes and I haven't delivered their catalogs. So once my car is clean and I have made all these cards, I think I'll take my eldest for a drive because he loves my new car. Okay, 48. So that's about half hour temperature. So that would be about 15. About 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, which isn't too shabby in the whole scheme of things. I would like that temperature about now, but because I have lost so much weight this year, um, I think winter is not going to be kind to me. And so far, I'm not feeling the heat as badly as what I did last summer. So 
Okay, sorry if you're hearing sounds of the kids and YouTube and stuff like that, but I've just got to keep the door open just in case all hell breaks loose and I need to intervene. But I have warned them that I'm on live and to be on their best behaviour. Oh, no, my son is about to sit down and have an Xbox session. Uh, Owen, that towel's sitting in the bath. If you wanted to grab the one for the lounge. It's scary when you can read their minds, hey? Uh, no, this is the one I want to put aside for the next ones. So I'll use these. So is it snowing for anyone who's watching me? Not that it snows here where I live ever. It did rain hail as a four-year-old told me the other day. <laughs> yeah, I've lost 44 kilos, Deb. So, yeah, um, I, yeah. <laughs> well, M could come down, Mel, but I don't think the reception for her will be favourable. No matter how much they tolerate M, I don't think it would be favourable. Yeah, winter will be very interesting because I didn't tolerate the cold well anyway. Um, but I'm finding summer a lot better to cope with. And I popped on this pretty purple top that's got some sequins in it today. And I went, oh my God, this is way too big. I'm actually running out of casual type summer clothes i've got some beautiful things i can wear to work and stuff like that but i'm running out of like slothy everyday things ah uh, yeah deb i actually had surgery so it's been a great thing for me um especially with my other um disabilities that i have um has precluded me from losing it with exercise so this has been a wonderful thing um, hopefully my surgeon's happy when I see him in January but I'm happy that's all that matters my friends keep on hugging me and saying there's less of you to hug and I'm there going that's the point people that's the point yeah it was actually really weird uh, I had so many people say, um, oh, Christmas is going to be difficult, but Christmas and the food factor wasn't actually difficult at all. Um, I, just, I ate everything except for chicken. Chicken and I are not friends, but that's a whole different story. Um, so I had all the things I wanted. I just had a small amount. Yeah, it is a great tool. That's exactly right, Deb. It is just a tool. Okay. So, yeah, no, I have... Um, I found it to be a lot easier than what I initially anticipated. So, the one thing I did make sure is before I came on is that I um, had something to eat. And someone please remind me to drink water in a sec because I've got my bottle beside me. And I've got to take out my little flavour thing. Boys, I am on a Facebook Live. Quiet, please. Okay, you can just have a look and a chat amongst yourself while I take my flavour thing out of my water. Because drinking plain water is just boring. Even though I like plain water. Okay. And that was not an ad for Tupperware. Thanks, Mel. 
I'm about to drink water. Okay, dry off my hands. <coughs> right, back into it. Oh, of course, I dropped some water on my mat. Um, yes, the infused flavouring. So I think my favourite one, which is the one I've got in there, is the strawberry, watermelon and mint. My son's liking the lemon and ginger. But he's a bit of a tea fiend. So he said, Mum, can I try the lemon and ginger? And I went, sure. So I bought him the little three pack. Oh, dear. I'm a step ahead of myself here. Um, bought him the three pack and he's quite liked it. And I've got the black currant one as well. But I don't think, look, it was nice, but I just don't think I'll buy it again. So I'm assuming you, you Americans have these types of cold water infusion things. They've been very popular recently in Australia. Um, okay. Ah, very nice smell. Is that from your um, herb garden? Um... I get mine from Woolies, but recently I have been um, with all my car issues and I normally take my electric wheelchair to the shops and before I got my car, we started doing some um, online shopping. So I find them much easier to grab online. Oh, see, so not a fan of the Rose Limit mango and passion fruit. Oh, very nice smell. Very nice. Um, mango and passion fruit sounds really nice. I haven't seen that one. I'll be doing a sh bit of a shopping order over the weekend because I'm avoiding the shops like the plague. Post Christmas and pre New Year. Going to be crazy. So, um, yes. I shall buy that. Good morning, Miss J. How are you? Have you had your morning swim yet? Ah, what are you eating, Jamie? Jamie has a kitchen to die for. Even though I've recently read Pleasure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you should be able to get them through Coles online. And the good thing is, like at the shops, it just says certain flavours are unavailable. So we're just making some masculine cards here, Jamie. Nothing special. I've sort of pre-prepped majority of chicken salad. Lovely. Is it lunchtime? Oh, it's almost lunchtime. Mind you, my eating schedule is not to normal meal times. I basically have something small about every two hours. Being holiday time, I'm finding I'm setting a timer to remind myself to eat. So, just for those that have joined recently, using I used for the sentiment parts, I used the Rooted in Nature stamp set. Please keep your giggles to yourself. Hey, Lori. And that's for the Aussies in the house. And I used the Celebrate from the Tabs for Everything, which is a great planner set. So you've got lots of icons you can use in your planner and you've got um, some great to do what happened this day, a note, goals, all of those types of things. And you've even got a date so you can pop in the date. I know, I know they're great. So no trees on this. We've got leaves. And I love that there are scent, uh, framelits available for majority of the shapes as well. Just makes life a little bit easier. Okay, where are we up to? Jeez, I, I hope I counted these right. If not, I do have some scraps. I'm sure I counted these right. Oh, God, we might have to use that dreaded um, brown side. But that's okay. 
I don't need to look at the cards. Yes, Philomena, it is such a beautiful set. It's just unfortunate that the the name of it quite possibly isn't the most flattering thing in Australia, but that's okay. I had the um I had the fun task of sharing what that means to some people. Thanks, Jamie. Um, what that means to some people, to the CEO, Sarah, when she was in Australia in April. It took me about three months to stop giggling when I used this set. So this is my last couple of cards with the uh, Tranquil Tide. So we're getting there. Oh, we're up to car washing time. So, Jamie, the colour palette I've taken straight from the paper. So, I'm using Tranquil Tide, um, Tranquil Tide Grey Granite, which, oh my God, Grey Granite, my favourite new neutral. I'll just pop that here for a second. So, I love it. It actually goes uh, warm and cool, depending on um, what colours you place it with so when this is paired against the white it kind of comes off quite cool rather and quite cool and gray rather than being brown um and with warmer colors it does cast brown oh my mel you didn't tell me this one's crooked but guess what it's staying crooked <laughs> yes, that was Dave in the background, washing the car. Looking after my new baby. And, oh, okay. So you Aussies will get it. And the ones who have kids in the US will get this as well. It took us a couple of days with our new car. And we went, oh, my God, we've got a big red car. And, um, yeah, we just giggled and we tried to. Now, we, my children loved the Wiggles, like adored the Wiggles. And um, so we went, oh, kids, we've got a big red car. And both the boys who are in their early teens went, huh? And we went, oh, my God, we are the worst parents ever. Mel. Please, yes, exactly, Jamie. Jamie, um, Mel, please don't write any wrong words in your programming. Otherwise, um, you could be teaching your children some interesting things. Hey, Renee, thanks so much for joining. I am just making a. Um, we even went to the Wiggles concert. Deb, like really, we had Captain Feathersword costumes. We had, oh, sorry, if you can hear the bell, that's the dog. Um, like we had, we had DVDs on DVDs, and I was um, I was very sad that the boys just went, huh? Oh, yeah, not impressed. What a waste of money, no. They loved it at the time and that's okay. They're in different stage. Ah, but when someone I know went to uni with the Wiggles because that's sort of where they started. No, no Emma back then. No Emma back then. Oh, my kids were well out of it um, when that changed and the, the changes in their life in kids bands was high five so high five is is definitely australian and i really don't think they made it in oh god made it into the u.s market but please tell me no it's not the same definitely not but it is for the kids that are around now it's just not for us adults 
So we're making a whole lot of masculine cards and I'm trying to use up as much of my frosted floral paper as I can. I've also used up almost all my dashing along paper, which was, it wasn't in the holiday catalogue, but it was a promotion. I made um, my TP cards with that, if I can grab a TP card. Uh, sometime along the way I will show you what I made and they used up a fair bit of my pattern paper and the other paper that I went through was my Joyous Noel paper so I was able to also make some uh, birthday cards that I shared a few days ago <gasps> no I did the wrong side it's okay it's okay we can deal with it no, maybe we can't. Not on that paper. It's okay. I'll leave that there. <gasps> oh, no. Naughty Lola puppy. How's Lola kitty? Oh, hey, Helen. Sorry. Head down, bum up, making cards here. I'm making, we'll end up making about 30 odd, I think I worked out. And these will be ready to put in my box for birthdays. Actually, the You Are Wonderful Celebrate, it can be used for so many occasions. But Lola Puppy is very, very um, cheeky. Yes, Adele, please do. I have made a start on my Christmas cards um, for next year, which is great. And I was even thinking, I may even write them early. You know, no one fall over. Because I did leave it rather late this year. I procrastinated this year. Okay, so we are on to our Tranquil Tide and this is our Thick Whisper White background. So I am going to use the, mm, I think using the eucalypt leaf will work. Yeah, not mm, brown or eucalypt leaf. Here we go, your girl's choice. I'm easy either way. Tell me which we're going to use while I have a drink. Ah, thanks for joining, Helen. I always love seeing your face on my lives. Jamie, I don't think I knew that you had two cats. Okay, come on, I want these votes coming in. Brown or leaves? Brown, okay, Deb. <laughs> yeah, Mel, I'm not answering that because we'll be sharing a room very soon. Leaves, brown. Okay, I can do both. Brown, brown. Okay, I'm going to do both. I'll make uh, two of them brown. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Adele. So, um... Yeah, just making up some Love It Chop It cards. And these are literally the scraps off the end. So I have done True Love It Chop It and uh, used up every piece. Hey, Cheryl, thanks so much for joining. It's going to be another long one. You know, I tried to prep as much as I could. I don't know how long I've been on so far. I've been on 40 minutes. We're almost finished this lot. And then I do have some very quick uh, feminine ones. I may not put all the stickers on while we're chatting today. Oh, these are in the way. In the way, in the way, in the way. Okay, so... I want to leave these this way. Mm. 
I think I also, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. And um, for those that come in late, when I'm next using the fast fuse, I will let you in on my little secret because this paper, the uh, frosted floral pattern paper is quite slippery. And I have the same issue using my snail with um, the back of the foil paper. The Joyous Noel foil, uh, glimmer paper and foil paper was fine. It had a nice gritty uh, back to it. It wasn't so smooth. Now, this is one of my It's Handmade Not Hallmark. I had to re-stamp and this uh, You Are Wonderful is a rubber stamp. And I'd miss the W, so I've got a slight shadow. But, you know, it's a card. It's handmade, not hallmark. Um, so when I'm using the snail adhesive on this, I just put my tab down and, like with the fast fuse, I break it to the side. So then you're not getting it gluing up and not being ready at the very end. Something's happening with Mr. Owen's game. <laughs> okay. Is it um is it gonna be hot where you are today, Deb? Because as I was saying before, it's gonna be very hot here. It was hot yesterday. I only ducked to the chemist and the... Oh, Jamie. Jamie, you're here. At the reject shop yesterday in my area, I did in Gosford. I saw so many different varieties of hand sanitizer in varying prices and varying sizes. So your best bet, actually, I really do like that brand. Even though I'm not a fan of the stripe, I do like it. Um, in varying configurations, yes. So hopefully you should have some up your way. We were having, I get ink all over my hands and last video we were having a conversation about um, how to very quickly get the excess ink off your hands and uh, I use hand sanitizer. It doesn't stop the staining of the ink but it certainly does get off the excess ink so you don't transfer it to, um... turn it down please. Thank you, Owen. Okay, there we go. Oh, a brand new one. I also, I picked up like a travel Cluedo while I was at the reject shop too. Um, okay, I'm a lot short on these. Do you know what? I may just be sticking on the circle by itself because I don't have the time or the inclination to be cutting and uh, flagging the end of these. Ah, oh, I'm not in Victoria, Deb. I am in New South Wales. I'm about an hour north of Sydney. But in my little valley, we either get it or miss it. So no, not in Victoria. Only visited a few times down there. Now I'm trying to remember where you are because I'm terrible at remembering. I don't mind the leaves either. I think I do prefer the brown though. But that's okay. Okay, I'm just going to stick this one down. This is more of the every colour in the pack. Got a bit of purple, bit of green, bit of mint macaron, bit of some... Um, hmm, I wonder if it is smoky slate because it's more grey than the 
grey granite, but they do use versions of bossy here. Bossy, bossy. Is that a typo? Or did I miss something? Oh, Brizzy. Brizzy. It's okay. I'm with you. You're in Brizzy. It's okay. Silly auto spell. Yep, exactly. Exactly. I'm talking your language. Okay. Ah, this one doesn't work too badly. Not my favourite, but it's done. Silly predictive text. I do that all the time. I swear the people that I text think I'm an idiot and uh, can't spell, but it's the predictive text. And you go, yep, that's right. And you press it. And um, whilst it's good, it's painful at the same time. Okay, my box is empty. This is great. Alan must have needed a break. Hey, Linda, thanks so much for joining. Hope you are well. I'm assuming it is Friday evening for you guys. Okay. Yeah. And now that this box is empty, what I am going to do is pop. Look at all the beautiful cards that we have done. I'm going to pop these cards back in there, keep things neat and tidy. And now I am just going to pop these on plane. You have your aircon switched off, you're crazy, Mel. I'd hate to think what actual temperature it is outside. Although I do have some uh, jackets that have been sitting, like woolen type ones, um, that have been sitting at the bottom of my clothes basket. They are currently on the line, drying in the sun. I've had my lawns mowed this morning. I'm smashing Adele. This is the whole point. I did break out some new um, some new product yesterday and I used the upcoming piece of cake set. So I made a card for the Stampin' Up! Colour Challenge. I'm one of the admin on that group and um, my card will go up in early January. Ah, on the AC predict. Okay, radio. Yeah, but then it takes too long, Mel, and I ain't got time for that. What do we think of these? I'll leave this here. What do we think of these ones without the strips? Do you still like them? I hope your AC is on. But then again, you've got a pool that you can just dive in, cool off, then come inside. You should see my pile of dimensional rubbish girls. It's quite epic. You can see part of it in the corner, but it's, um, yeah. It's quite fun. You like the strips, yeah. Well, majority of them have strips. It's all good. Got to be different. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting. Oh, I made one too many. There you go. Oh, now I get to choose the last one. Which one did I stamp better? I stamped them about both the same. Um, yeah, I'm waiting to put in my order on the second because I went on stage and got quite a lot of stuff when I was in Brisbane. Um, how many stamp sets did I end up getting? Two, four, six, eight and nine, including my demonstrator set. And yeah, so I do have quite a lot. Only one of those is a celebration set. Um, so I do have quite a lot to work with, but there are a couple calling me. I definitely want the dog set. And I want the cat. 
cactus set is talking to me. I do not know why this cactus set is talking to me, but it is. Okay, girls. So we have these ones. And I have done some strips with this as well. I dropped my envelopes in my grey granite ink pad. Thank God they're my vanilla ones and they're not my white ones that I use more often. So what I want to do is I want to make some sentiment pieces. So I'm going to pop away my rooted in... Oh no, I'll leave my rooted in nature out. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the happy birthday from the happy birthday gorgeous set just because it's a bit more feminine because it's got a bit of a swirl to it and i'm going to so these are the strips that i am going to use so these two strips so i will pardon yes so choose which color I am stamping the happy birthday with. So we've got Blackberry Bliss Blushing Bride or Mint Macaron. So Mint Macaron basically matches the paper. Or I could do it in the grey granite as well. So I'll add back in the grey granite. So your guys' choice. Yes, so do I. I love this set. I'm so glad. Blackberry Bliss. I have a story to tell you about my Blackberry Bliss ink pad. I'm about to buy a brand new one. More votes, please, girls. Blackberry Bliss. Oh, hang on. BB, Blackberry Bliss or Blushing Bride, Jamie. I need you to expand your BB. Grey Granite. Uh, please expand your BBs. There are two BBs. Blackberry Bliss or Blushing Bride. Or as many people. Blackberry. Okay. And you're going to make me stain my happy birthday. Oh. So what have we got here? Sorry for my hand. I just need to scroll up. I've got three Blackberry Bliss. Two Great Granite. Yes, it's getting stamped on white, Deb. I'm about to get my whisper white paper out now. Mm. And I'm going to use bliss. Okay, I think what I might do, I might do a couple in grey granite and a couple in blackberry bliss. So I might start with the grey granite and I will be a good girl and put my ink pads away straight away okay so I'm using this label punch which name is totally escaping me lovely label I think but this fits the, so what I do when I'm looking at sizing, especially with this, I just pop them like this and go, oh, that happy birthday fits very nicely in that. I'll just use that. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. But I'll do some in the grey granite and some in the um, Blackberry Bliss. I love my happy birthday gorgeous stamp set. I did think of using some of the flowers, but because the word fits so perfectly in the label. Yeah, oh well, I've done 30 odd of these and I found a piece of paper. How many have I got here? Two, four, six. So this is one piece of paper. So I've got my strip. Um, mm, hang on. I need to get rid of my dimensionals. They're starting to stick to everything so grab my bin okay dimensionals 
are gone. Mind you, I have found dimensionals at work on the floor because they've been statically stuck to my shoe. Okay. So I might do half. I'll stamp it off first. Make sure it's stamping okay. Sorry about that, girls. I got a phone call. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly right, Helen. That is a wonderful tip. And you actually taught me that tip at one of our team meetings. So thank you so much for that. So what she's meaning, and only because I have my stamp showing here pre-prepared pre-wet so what what you pretty label perfect thank you leanne thank you i knew it was pretty lovely something so my stamp shimmy has been through the wash a few times so it's lost some of its purple so how i give it a deep clean is pop it through the wash so to prevent the staining going over the whole stamp just as if you're stamping on the paper stamp onto your stamp chamois and then once you've got and i do flip mine over and then once i've done that done this and stamp it off throw it round, and it is all perfect i'm gonna need another piece of paper god i hope i've got one that's wide enough oh look at that i think i do that one should do right so put my gray granite ink pad away yeah and I love what I have found tip wise with the um, snail as well with um, breaking it off like you do the um, like you did with the fast fuse it makes um, it so much easier and ready to go okay so my blackberry bliss ink pad has is growing so it's so stiff as well i don't know if you girls can see but it is slightly growing some growth which is a bit gross but these things happen i am oh, i'm probably going to ring stamping up yeah you can you could see that so I am probably going to ring Stampin' Up. I have tried re-inking it and it didn't help. It's got weird fuzzy. Yeah, it's a bit gross. But, you know, these things happen. Out of all my ink pads, I'm pretty sure this is the only one. Please excuse Owen. God knows what he's playing. Uh, Owen, quietly, please. I, I'm still on a live oh, video, I'm Owen. Oh, oh dear. He's what having fun. Okay. Oh, I stamped one extra by mistake. Wasn't paying attention. So I do stamp off, especially with my stronger colours. I do stamp off the excess before bringing in my uh, and there is was still so much ink left on that so as you can see from what Helen said I've only stained the areas that I actually had ink on staining your photopolymer stance is so not a bad thing so that is now completely clean as you can see Yeah, my berry burst hasn't. I have previously had issues with those colours in the old configuration. I think it's got something to do with the red. But I don't know, Adele. I don't know. Now, let's see if Ellen can go without staining her hands on the Blackberry Bliss. My nemesis. Huh? Oh, I did. I did, I did. It's okay. It's only a tiny bit. Okay, pop that away. 
because I do have a tendency to lose them on my desk. Right, now the pretty label. Do some quick punching. Um, fits so perfectly in here. I've never used this um, stamp and punch together. Um, I don't know what it is. Because it's in the same ink colour, Jamie, I'm not quite sure. I, um, I've i had ink pads replaced before with the similar issue from um, Stampin' Up! So I've just... Um, I have... Oh, God. That was bad. Oh, I'm going to have to abandon that one. Um, I have rung Stampin' Up! Explain the situation. Sent through photos and they have replaced it so yeah but I haven't had issues with these new ones just this one color <sighs> yeah well I need to get it replaced um and I, I will not throw out an ink pad without having it because then it's going to be the colour that I need, want all of that to use. You know that. Yes, it's lovely. I do like this punch. Um, there is one punch I haven't used. So may, I'll show you the punch I haven't used, which is this one, this border punch. I haven't used it yet. So I think I might need to challenge myself. There are definitely some things in the holiday catalogue that go very well with uh, this punch. But I just haven't used it yet. So. Oh, no. Wrong dimensions. Okay. I always have alcohol wipes, Jamie. Just using up my edges because these are just as good as the other ones. And please excuse my non Stampin' Up um, scissors. I just find sprung scissors are easiest on my hands i lost my ones from many 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 years ago and have only in the past couple of weeks purchased those ones which is fantastic for me okay rightio stick these up these only need like one in the middle um the felt ones not at I'm pretty sure I did have growth on the felt ones as well. I think it's the nature of um, some colours and climate and where you store them. I think it's um, many plethora of things. Well, no, because... No, because they're all... Um, in your old one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my cherry cobbler one went silvery. Like a, yeah. It happens to, I think, such a small number that it's not a, yeah. I mean, I love the ink formulations. I love them. But um, especially with the defoamer, I'm finding I'm getting... Better images on my photopolymer stamp sets. Okay, let's get moving, popping these last six together, and then we are done. And I can start, I'm going to leave this on my desk so I use it. And then we can get moving. I'm going to leave the centers of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly right. 
Now, I haven't. But really, if I've always encouraged and said to my customers, if they've got any issues, I'm more than happy to um, sort that out with uh, demonstrator support. Sorry, scrolling back down. Ah, uh -huh, really? Lucky you live where you live because you wouldn't have any mould issues where you are. Now, this is just random pick of the ones that I'm picking up. Oh, doesn't that look just perfect? Lovely. Very happy with how these ones are turning out. They are really good with replacing things, Jamie. They really, really are. Yeah, we've had, we did have some mould issues in this house because of a leaky bathroom. Uh, but since we renovated that, yeah, they're really good. They do sometimes ask them, like they go through all the questions with you, ask you to provide a photo, all of that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, they are very generous with that kind of thing. Hmm, no. Look at me being picky. I should be more like our friend Adele and Stick and Plonk. Hey, Jamie. The Queen of the Stick and Plonk. Which is basically what I've done because I have pre-prepared and designed these so I didn't have to think too much exactly Jamie exactly they have no guarantees that the quality is appalling absolutely appalling and they're only ripping off the true artists and people like me and a lot of the girls um, on here that are demonstrators. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm glad you're a sticker and a plonker, Adele. Um, but no, we're talking about a um, scrapbooking friend of mine and Jamie's. Um, Adele Toomey. She is an ex-customer, or not an ex-customer, she was a customer of mine and came to my classes. No, photo polymer all the way. And it has been said many times by many of the, I will call them celebrities, even though they're not true celebrities, um, but people who have influence in the industry that you know you have a good quality photopolymer stamp. Yes, thank you, Jamie. Um, she, that if they stain, that is a good sign of a good quality photopolymer stamp set. So I like that at itch. Okay, and two more to go, and then I will go through, I reckon I've made about 40 cards in less than an hour and a half, which is pretty impressive. I did do some prep work, but to get these together has been fantastic, and these will be all ready for me to write in, or I may go through, I'm not sure, if I will put a sentiment in the wonderful celebrate ones because um, because I can use them for a couple of different yeah exactly and I love this thick whisper white yeah the wonderful uh, you are wonderful celebrate ones I can sort of use them for a couple of different occasions um, they are also great for a congratulations card um, a birthday card. Give me some other things that you think I could use them for. Yeah, 
Exactly. And if there is an issue or your stamp isn't stamping properly or your die isn't cutting properly, um, they are always there to firstly offer advice. And if that advice doesn't work, they certainly will do their best to replace the product. Okay. And lucky last girls. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Graduation, new job, new house, exactly. And the fact that they, they're, they are unisex, but these ones are definitely err more on the masculine side. Kylie, who just joined? Who did I miss joining, girls? Kylie, say hello. Oh, hey, Chrissy. Sorry, missed you there. Yes. So I am sorry for all those people that I missed that have dropped in. Let's see who's watching now. Okay. Great. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Where These birthday ones are great for birthdays. And um, I'm about to review my birthday list for next year. So if you do want to receive a birthday card from me, I will be putting up a post in a, maybe today. I don't know. Oh, Kylie Abel. Hello, Miss Kylie. I know Kylie. Um, so yeah, if you do want to receive a birthday card from me uh, in the 2019 year, because I've already done all my 2018 ones, please tell me and um, drop me a line with your address and I will certainly put, pop you on the list and I send, I normally do out one mailing a month, so I send out the month's cards. Hey Janine, sorry I'm not seeing people join. So to recap, we have made all these cards. Look at that. And I only miscounted by one, but I will certainly put this aside and use this on another card. So we made six feminine ones using the um, frosted floral paper because... Oh, I love this paper and the opposite side is these beautiful um, almost tulips they're quite nice you can see them a bit better there so I've made this one and I use the happy birthday gorgeous stamp set and the pretty label punch that I have already put away which is this one here and for let me grab out a couple of these ones and for these cards I have used the Rooted in Nature stamp set for the uh, Wood Slice and the You Are Wonderful which is all out of this set and for the Celebrate I have used tabs for everything I am hoping to Yes, please do. Please do, Adele. And please, if I, you, I'll try that again. If I inspire any of you to make some cards, please share them. I would love to see what you guys are making. Um, yeah, I, I love seeing what I inspire people to make. So tag me when you share um, the product or send me a PM or whatever works for you. I know, Jamie, I know it goes through my head as well. We are so immature, but we're awesome. Um, yeah, so these are the cards that I've made. I am now going to uh, pop my sticker on the back of them and pop them in. So I pop um, my demonstrator sticker or I know before I was a demonstrator, I had a, I probably still do have it in my non-stampin' up stash um a handmade by and i just wrote my name on it because uh, you never know who is going to want to either buy a card off you 
or ask you to do a special commission and I find um, I feel very privileged when I get asked to do those things and then I pop them in our medium clear envelopes so this for me protects them in my storage box and then uh, what I do I pop this clear envelope with the card inside one of our beautiful smooth envelopes and uh, that protects it from any rain in the mail because I have unfortunately received almost blank cards after they have got damp and wet um, in our mail system so thank you girls so much for um, joining me and helping me finish off my stash so I can get on to new things so this sort of clears my decks of all this paper I will um, share some photos and the products that I used to make these cards um, hopefully later today and I will catch you guys very soon. Hopefully I'll be back making something soon with you guys but I've really enjoyed doing these so if you like them tell me and I will come back and do them more often. Thanks girls. Bye.